Because you know what? At least I'm making money off of it. <laughs> oh, my ex and I broke up. He. <laughs> like, literally, nobody cares. They're gonna be like, who? I didn't know you were able to attract men, Angel. That's crazy. I actually get that hate comment a lot. This girl is never gonna get married if she keeps acting like that. And honestly, slay. Give you a little bit of a backstory. I had ended my long term, my first super long term, like literally almost four year relationship <laughs> um, late last year. And early this year, I wanted to make a little glow up post breakup video. However, I wanted it to be very quick, be like in 24 hours or so. But that is the opposite of what happened. <laughs> Me as a penis. So I decided to do this video like without makeup on because most glow up videos are like either them already hot or like they're their ugliest form. And I wanted this to be like a little bit of a different take because this entire glow up thing lasted an entire year. <laughs> I don't know what you're probably thinking. Um, Angel, we can see that you have something on your lips. Don't even lie. Welcome to the internet where everybody lies. Because if I did get married, then I'm screwed. Because right now I'm monetizing my breakup. You married people, you're gonna lose money if you get an all. <laughs> so when I first started this, I wanted so many things to be done to my face. Um, I'm gonna try to get tinted today, like a car. <laughs> Eyebrows tinted today. I wanted like a lip tattoo and microbladed eyebrows and a lash perm. I wanted all the, the everything, everything. I wanna get a lip tattoo, but it's so fing expensive. I literally like the other day, <laughs> I, um, did something embarrassing because I was like looking at freaking lip tattoos, right? It's been like everywhere. See so many ads and I'm like, that is so tempting, bro. Like I just, I think I, I love that person. And then like I tried to... <laughs> ah! Stop, don't judge me. I tried to pull out an influencer card. I was like, hey, um, do you collaborate with like influencers? <laughs> Starp, I can't. I'm so embarrassing. But don't worry, it didn't go like, hey, can I get this for free? Thanks. No, that's not what he did. I literally said, is your service like open to collaborations with like content creators? And they were like, no bitch, no dog. <laughs> and I was like, okay, never mind. <laughs> and of course, being who I am, I only did some of those things. And that's completely fine. Initially, I really started this video very looks based. My moisturizer is. I thought I needed to do so much of those things. And it seems so normalized. See all these people, right? Like all these like influencers that spend like so much stuff on looks and all amazing pampering stuff. I feel like I spent a lot of money on pampering stuff already, at least to me. <laughs> the last time I did a video like this, I tried to look like as ugly as possible in the first few clips. And basically just did my hair and my makeup in the last part. I'm like, yay glow up, such a huge improvement or something. But I just feel like my perception of beauty has very much changed since then i wanted to blur the lines between what we perceive as pretty and what we perceive as ugly because i am sure as hell not the latter <laughs> It doesn't get more on girl dinner than this because not only am I eating ramen noodles, but it's also microwaved ramen noodles from yesterday. <laughs> so, hashtag health is wealth. That's why I'm broke. <laughs> that being said, one of the first steps that I took for the whole glow up was getting my hair done. And I usually do get perms. Getting my hair permed and cut and all that cost around like 4K, like 3.5K, I'm not sure. Like a lot of people are like, please, please tell me your hair care. And the thing is, I don't hair care. I shampoo, I condition, but what I do is I do get perms. And that way it looks slay, even if I don't do shears, a hat. If you do decide to get a perm, because you go on Metro Deal, make a Metro Deal account. This isn't sponsored. I wish it was 
I wish it was. Um, every time I get my hair perm, I go on Metro Deal, I have an account there, and then I get a discount. I go on Tony and Jackie. I know that if I don't cut my hair this year, I'm gonna be like, maybe I'll just do it next year because it's so expensive to get it done. By the time I will actually do it, it's gonna be like up to here, up to my p Better to do it now because it's starting to drag everything down, just like my past relationship. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm actually really good terms with him. I remember when I was getting ready It was like really early on into the year There was a part in where I was actually talking about my breakup and like the relationship I guess or like the the state that me and my ex are in right now and I kept saying bullshit it, like ah uh, we're fine we're good we're like besties we're in such good terms y'all know him if you guys know him he's great he's fantastic don't send him any hate it's actually like one of the most mature breakups i've ever had in my entire life and by my entire life i mean two it's like super healthy we're in super great terms and i actually told him that i was making this video and i was like editing this back and i was like ooh, ooh. you when you spread misinformation honestly it's a flex <laughs> Like the level of in good termsness we are, like it's insane. But we're fine. We're not BFFs or anything, but it do be feeling peaceful, you know? You people who are getting annulments wish. <laughs> I'm kidding. I should not be making fun of people with annulments. Like that's not okay. What we should do is advocate for divorce here in the Philippines. <laughs> the topic switch. <laughs> Although to be fair, like at that time it was good. Like I did think that everything was going fine, but at the same time or I felt the need to, you know, make things fine. Make things civil and make things peaceful and all that now looking back at it like months and months later i realized that it doesn't have to be there is no reason for you to stay friends with your ex let's start with that <laughs> like unless you guys were like together when you were like in what third grade or something and it's not that if i saw him or i would like claw his face out it does seem a little self-sabotage try to pretend that things are okay it felt like there was no moving forward unless i really cut ties and if you have a significant other who's still like besties with their ex that's weird like i would be so uncomfortable if that happened to me and i also feel like as women we're always taught to be like good like good girls even with like moms there's so much pressure for you not to let go of a toxic husband or for example like staying friends with people who are your best friend's ex like it's weird you know i mean this is just my opinion like if you're okay with that if you're that's up to you you do you girl but like i think there is a usual thing with women and just making sure that there's no bad blood because like god forbid you have bad blood with a man or... i don't know if i'm making sense you can disagree i'd love to hear your opinion about that but it does feel like keeping somebody in your radar despite things that may have happened in the past it seems like something that i was trained to do i feel like it's this toxic mentality of making sure that there's no tension you have to be able to forgive people or you have to be able to smile and forgive and forget and be able to live with this person be in the same room with this person and just why there's like this taylor swift quote where she goes like you can move forward without forgiving or forgetting especially people who are married who are like you have to forgive your husband even though he slept with 16 prostitutes like why i don't know i'm not saying my ex slept with 16 prostitutes oh my god that's not what i'm saying at all all i'm saying is like on a general sense there is no need for you to pretend that you're okay pretend that you're love and light and forgiveness and all that shit. That just leads to tolerance to a lot of bad things. If you keep forgiving and forgiving and forgiving people, what more are you going to tolerate, right? Like, what if what you're forgiving is something really not okay at all anymore? Something to think about. People have watched my channel for a long time now. I've used this bullshit. It's um older than your mom older than your grandma it lasted longer than my relationship. <laughs> That's four years down the drain. <laughs> Problematic. That's it, guys. That's the glow up. <laughs> guys, I kind of cut it too short. I look, look so straight and weird. <laughs> I look like an edge lord. Having a panic attack? No, you're fine. We're good. I'm a whole edge lord. Stop. Stop calling yourself an edge lord. <laughs> edge lord. Guys, oh, I'm gonna cry. It's too fucking sure like you only have to cut off the ends because your hair is gonna fall off because it's literally dying and i'm like no it's not i get to dictate when i'm dying and when i'm not and it's not dying but then after some thinking i'm like maybe they're right maybe i should actually follow the professional's advice 
but it's too short. I mean it to be fun, but that's also not the vibes I was going for. But I guess that's the vibes that 2023 has for me. If anybody says it's ugly, I'm gonna say that f you, I'm going through a breakup. <laughs> breakup pass, I'm using my breakup pass. Ha ha ha. Go for it. I'm kidding, it's fine. It's fine. It still looks fire. It still looks great. You know when people are like, they would tweet like, 2023, like this year is gonna be my year. 2023, no heartbreak, no disappointments, no like, bitch, are you in Barbie dreamland? God, you're like setting like the dumbest expectations for yourself. No heartbreak, no disappointments. Just look at the news. There's already like 50 disappointments there. <laughs> I think we need to change that. I don't know what to change that to, but it needs to stop. We need to stop being scared of disappointments and heartbreak because grief is sign that you loved, that you... <laughs> grief is just proof that you once loved. And that's true. I know I'm saying it like an idiot right now. <laughs> but it's so true. <laughs> if you subscribe to my channel, if you don't, then don't. That's your loss. Hashtag no disappointments. Hashtag no heartbreaks. Hashtag no subscribers. I don't know why, but I look presidential right now. Does that make sense? Like I look like I need to be elected president. Who says you're not presidential? Who says you can't be in the movies? Listen to, Listen to me. me. Listen to me. Anyways, so this is the perm now. A few months later, I don't style it. I just got out of the shower. This is looking a little crusty, but it's still somewhat there. Another thing I did to try to pamper myself, I went to the dermatologist. I have acne. My quirk, it's been my personality trait ever since I was 10 years old. I've always just, I, it's just, it's just something that I live with. It's like a part of my life, a part of my being. I'm not who I am without problematic skin. It's okay though. It's okay because God knew I would be way too powerful and it would be over for all of you bitches if I had clear skin. But I will be putting like some... Sometimes I get questions like, Angel, I get so insecure. Please help me. How do I clear my skin? I feel so insecure about my skin. Girl, same. The only thing I can do for you is relate to you. I have been in constant battle with my skin. Like, it's like a battle. Like, it's like a boxing match. Like, it, it's violent. It's sh Honestly, the only thing that has worked for me, going to the dermatologist and paying a shit ton of money for it. Yo, have y'all ever purchased f***ing Accutane? Well, it's not like actually Accutane. It's like, like a different brand. But like, that's the only thing that has worked. That doesn't make me depressed because it's caused by my picos if i go go on, on birth control it's just gonna make me depressed and make me feel like shit and then make me gain weight and then i'll feel even more like shit and then it just and i swear to god going to the dermatologist feels like i'm going on a vacation to Boracay. like you know you need a vacation but you still feel bad because it's so freaking expensive not only that but the time travel from my house to the dermatologist is around the same time you would take to go to Boracay. I'm from Las Piñas and my dermatologist is in Alabang. Have you been to Alabang Zapote Road? Like it's it, it takes like three hours. By the time I get to the dermatologist, my concern is no longer acne. It's literally already like fine lines of aging. <laughs> Whenever I come home with a bunch of like skincare and all the that's like recommended by a doctor, I feel so good. Like I feel like the stars are aligning, the world is healing, I'm healing. Everybody who I love is healing, except for the ones I hate. The ones who I hate can get in a coma. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't send that energy out into the universe. I really don't. So since I don't have a face card today, that's a lie. I always have a face card. Since I can't do my makeup today, I'm going to have to pop off with my outfit. I think I want to go for a shorts outfit today. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we go for. I forgot. I don't own any shorts. I think we can wear these shorts with some kind of top. I really don't have clothes here. So most of my clothes are where my condo is. And I just say, I am so glad that I finally have the time to go to the dermatologist. I really, I truly am so insecure about my skin. Like truly. I remember in high school, I couldn't afford anything. Like literally nothing. I didn't have like money. I wasn't given money in high school. I was just given like food, which is, I'm not complaining. That's good. But then again, I don't have like things to spend on on other things. And like online shopping wasn't like too prevalent yet. So I would like look up how to cover up acne with like no makeup or how to heal acne with literally nothing. <laughs> what voodoo spells could I do? Even in my videos, like sometimes I would like overexpose the shit out of my video so that you guys don't see anything because if you guys see my acne you guys are gonna be like oh my god she's kidding probably don't think that right do you 
Do you not? Do you? That's f***ed up if you do. Shit, well, I'm not f***ing bruh. But yeah, I went to the dermatologist. I spent a shit ton there too. You, you see why this takes like months and months to do because it's so goddamn expensive. I think I left that building like 5k poor. It's crazy. Like I'm all for self-care and all that sh but oh my god, I hate spending for it. <laughs> but soup always tastes better when you drink it like this not with a spoon that is not the Asian way <laughs> worst sound ever <laughs> I apologize for that <laughs> Do you like our bathroom signage? I chose it myself. My mom is going to kill me for this next one. <laughs> I got two very tiny tattoos. Where are you gonna put yours? This here, a little bit on this here. Mine is going in my butthole. I'm kidding. In here. <laughs> if you're watching this, mom, sorry. Hehehe. <laughs> They're really tiny, so it's not a big deal, mom. Relax. Um, but I really like them. It's the Venus sign on my left hand and the Mars sign on my right hand. But I made them hearts, like, like in the Sailor Moon symbols instead of like normal circles or like hearts. I think it might get misinterpreted to gender though, like male and female. Um, that's not really the symbolism I was looking for. Um, that kind of makes me sound like a public toilet. So, <laughs> which is I think also why I put the little hearts instead of like the normal circles. Venus and Mars are kind of like one of my ruling, some of my ruling planets are like my main planets in astrology. Um, Venus is all about like abundance and receiving and femininity and beauty and balance and all that stuff. So, so I wanted to put that on my left hand because it's like like the receiving hand. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna swear. <laughs> For the Mars symbol, I wanted to put it on the right hand because the this hand is like the doing hand because it's my dominant hand. <laughs> like to motivate me when I'm lazy because Mars is like strength and being outgoing and the more masculine side. I really just wanted like small tattoos first just to like have a balance of both um, masculine and feminine, feminine energy. I feel like my feminine energy is like so dominant and so like out there that I tend to hate anything particularly masculine so much so I wanted to have like a balance of those two things in my life I guess but I also put them on my middle fingers <laughs> <laughs> the next thing I did is to color my hair and I know this does not look like a drastic change at all but I swear like when it's a little bit brighter you're gonna see it you're gonna see that it's a little bit brown it's something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now it's just that I was always so scared of the damage since I know that I have like perm hair so brush my hair trigger warning this is disgusting but like I haven't brushed my hair in a long time <laughs> it's giving stress it's giving college Give me I feel like 99% of this video is just me saying I don't want to spend money, I don't want to spend money, I don't want to spend money Instead of going to a salon, I was like F that, I don't have money for that shit Well my plan is, I'm gonna use, you know those like cap things that you see on TikTok and they look kind of like satisfying I say as if I have a TikTok Kind of looks like a condom And then hopefully this is gonna look like good and not like i don't want my hair to like look flat so i want to do like a diy highlights moments with this so i decided to do box dye even though for some reason a lot of people are mad at it so it's just more accessible babes like yeah you look like a baby <laughs> you're jerking me off jerking me off 
Um, this was an entire group effort like the whole time I was asking three of my friends to help me with it They would even send like like one of my friends to me send me videos of when she used it past year has very much made me I don't know love my friendships like 5,000 times more friendships are great Oh, and I'm here with the lovely Berber. She's gonna help me out with my shenanigans. Hey, hi Manny Hi Manny Oh, oh Manny It's okay, it's okay. Ow. Okay, so we are done with this. <coughs> Rude, sorry. <laughs> we are done with this abomination. Thank you so much, Berber, for helping me. Aww. <laughs> this is the first one, and it's like the lighter color, and then there's also this one. This is recommended to my friend, hopefully, it fucking because it burns like a shampoo. POV, the baby everyone thought I had. For the last part of this glow up video, there's really not much change to it. The only difference is I've already done the second session of dyeing my hair, and then I also cut my bangs. This is what it looks like. It's looking very janky because I cut it on the day itself when I went to Escolta. I went on a date with my best friend. <laughs> We're gonna go on a date. Swing those hips around. Can't stop. Roll back down. My ladies, show tall, thin, or wide. Always down and ready to ride. Someone says. <laughs> she didn't get the shirt she wanted. I closed early. Aww. Hello, date. Wow, condom. Not that I need it. This has fire packaging. People are like so confused. Are they dating? Are they just gay baiting? <laughs> Anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I don't know how to do outros. Outro! want this to be like a typical glow up where afterwards you feel like you want to do all of this oh like i'm gonna get the perm and i'm gonna get my hair done and i'm gonna get this done and there's no shame in that okay i know that it's very fun to look for ways or find out new ways to improve yourself and take care of yourself but i also didn't want it to just stay like that like my goal is to add a little bit more layers to it because glow ups shouldn't just be like 24 hours I'm gonna look like a Victoria's Secret model <laughs> like unrealistic unless you have that much money in that case congrats jealous of you go queen slay realistically speaking I have more important things to do god I'm in my thesis term I'm gonna go to sleep bros uh probably so confused by the timeline like did you just clean up before eating and then washing i don't know by the way i'm going to be doing this entire narration in all the wrong order so but kasi ganito ilaw tang ina